A new Florida law is targeting porch pirates. The legislation will increase penalties for people who steal packages from outside homes and, and also for shoplifters. So starting on July 1st, anyone who commits up to three retail thefts in a year could be convicted of a felony. Right now, retail theft is a misdemeanor and is only upgraded to a felony if someone commits five different thefts within 45 days. The new law also lowers the stolen property value necessary to press criminal charges against people who steal packages from homes. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Tom Hackney is joining us to take a closer look specifically this kind of porch pirate because we all know uh, you know I, I thankfully this has not happened to me. I hate to say the word yet but I think that we're all aware of the risk out there and so as a result we're all I mean I'm constantly you know my husband works from home so I'm constantly texting him hey a package was delivered please go out and get it right now you know and that's the reality. It's become a real problem. It it's epidemic. It seems like I, I've been a victim of it. And it's if you don't know somebody who has, you're lucky. It, it's yeah. just that prevalent. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this. Um, I, I think that part of this is what makes it difficult with uh, porch pirates, as we commonly refer to them. Is it is it tough to arrest them? It is. It's it's so fast. Yeah. The, these folks can can get there, jump out of a car, grab your package, and be gone. And and there's not much to do about it. And, and from a law enforcement standpoint, it's really hard to, to be able to, to catch them unless you catch them in the act. They're, they're in and out and gone, so. And, and video is great, certainly, but uh, it, just because you may have them on video doesn't necessarily mean the police are gonna be able to arrest them. I think that people make that assumption. They do, and, and you know, you, you can have a great video of, of the person who steals your package. They could look right at your ring camera and they could see all that. And, and unless somebody can identify them, it's, it's, it's kind of bad. So, it, it, and I think that that's, you know, I mean, we, we, we say this all the time. This is why neighbors are, should take care of their neighborhood. How could neighbors help with something like this, just in general, setting aside the law? So I've always told people, just kind of, as a neighbor, kind of worry about the people that you can see, the people in front of you and beside you. And if kind of everybody did that, you could keep an eye out and if you see a, a package that's out there or, or certainly see somebody picking up a package that doesn't belong to them, you know, it's not your neighbor picking it up, call police, let them know. But also, you know, hey, call your neighbor. If you're in touch with your neighbor, say, hey, I just saw a package dropped off. Do you need me to pick it up if you're not home? There's a lot of options that are out there. Well, and, you know, I you know, I'm, I'm used to the same people kind of walking in my neighborhood. So I do actually tend to pay more attention if it's somebody that I don't yeah. recognize. Cars also, I mean, is it a bad idea? Maybe no, you remember it, a license plate? I'm just saying. It, it, it certainly can't hurt because, again, it only takes a second for, for them to, you, you could drive through your neighborhood yourself and you're like, there's a house with the package on the porch. There's a house. And, and the people who have ill intent and do this will stop have a passenger jump out and they can be out of the car with your package back in the car in a matter of seconds. And so if you see something suspicious in your neighborhood, call. Do you think that this will work? You know, essentially kind of lowering the, the, the value of the property. So it's $40. So it used to be much higher, you know. So essentially, if your package is worth $40 or more, then now you can be prosecuted, essentially. You think this will work in terms of a deterrent? It, I mean, I, I hope so. It just again, it's so prevalent and and it's just so easy to do. Well, hopefully, the state attorney's office will will want to really put some some people in jail and and make a deterrent for for people that do this. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't yeah. take stuff that doesn't belong to you. Isn't it's, that the truth? It's so true. Um, so let's. So there is a program uh, through the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that is available. It, it's voluntary right? uh, when it comes to video. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us just a little bit about it? It's uh, Connect Duval. So you can do one of two things. One, you can let the sheriff's office know and kind of register your camera, and th they can't see it unless you go to the second step, which you could give them access to your ring camera if you wanted to. And, and that would give them the ability to, to get that information if they needed to and, and kind of share that information virtually with, with other law enforcement officers in, in the area. So that, that helps, and, you know, there's... On your phone, you can actually look through some of the pictures that people submit from the different crimes and, and, and help identify. We talked about not being able to solve them. Well, there's a way that, that you can maybe help identify some of these crimes that, that are out there. Well, and you know, I mean, with cameras these days also, a lot of times people have them, you know, they're in the street, they're, you know, an, they're an, another neighbor's house. You might be able to see just through the vantage point. And video does really help then with prosecution, doesn't it, it do you find? So for prosecution, without a doubt, you know, when you go to a jury trial, you want to be able to present some evidence to that jury and, and, 
a good video of, of yeah. the person sitting Doesn't there. Doesn't lie the usually, yeah, right? It, it's, it's, it's pretty good evidence and, and can help, but you got to get there to, to get to somebody in, in custody for it. So just, you know, try to, try, to, try to look at some of those videos, try to share that with the sheriff's office if that's what you feel inclined to do. It, it certainly can't hurt. You know, the neighborhood apps that, that share information, it's good to know, uh, you know, if that is going on in your neighborhood. Do people, people talk amongst each other and that, that, that helps. It's kind of the, the virtual neighbor of the, the whole area. Yeah, well, we, we all have to take care of one another, right? Absolutely. And, and so the, if you are interested also in participating, you live in Duval County in the program that's offered, the voluntary program through the uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. It's called connectduval.org. You can go there uh, to learn more information about sharing your video. Tom, thanks for being here. We Anytime, appreciate Jen. you. Thanks. Take care of your packages, by the way. Make sure you don't leave them out on the front porch too long.